today's video. I'm gonna be upgrading to an eight piston caliper from SSBC. It's simple as uh, just replacing your brakes, but of course upgrading your caliper. So we're gonna have to remove the lines, swap them over and go ahead and bleed them. First thing we're gonna do is take off the caliper, 13 millimeter. take off our brake pads now we can take the caliper mount off which is a 21 millimeter so now we're gonna take a big sledge I'm gonna have to hammer on it because it, it's just seized on there Now we're going to slide on our new rotor. The calipers are pretty much identical, so you are going to want to make sure you get the right part number. For these fronts, the part number ends in 177, and for the rears, 178. Looking from the back side of the caliper, you can see the part number right there. It ends in 178, so we know that these are the rears. Usually the fronts are bigger than the rears, but with this kit, they just happen to be the same size. So that's why you gotta make sure that you put the right part number on. Here's your new big brake caliper. We're gonna go ahead and slide it in. It doesn't have a bracket anymore because these are fixed calipers. So we're gonna go ahead and line it up. Torque for the mounts are 150 foot pounds. All right, that's torqued down. Now we'll go ahead and put our brake line on. The brake hose is a 15 millimeter. The kit comes with a new banjo bolt and copper washers. Get our new bolt, put the copper washer. Put it on, put it through the brake line, get our other copper washer, put it on, angle it correctly. Eleven millimeter for the new banjo bolt. Brake line is torqued to 25 foot pounds. Now we're gonna bleed the rears. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the outboard one because there's two bleeder ports, one inboard and one outboard. So the truck uses DOT 3. We're gonna go ahead and top it off. Now with our reservoir filled, we can go ahead and bleed. So what I like to do is uh, three pumps, hold, crack it open, you're gonna get air, and then you're gonna stop it by the time the pedal hits the floor, close it off, and just start that over again. And there you go, your rears are done. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the fronts. 16 millimeter for the front calipers. Caliper mounts on the fronts are 24 millimeter. Torque on these is 150 foot pounds. The brake hose is a 15 millimeter. I'm gonna use an impact because I'm gonna try to minimize fluid loss. <laughs> 
25 foot pounds. And there you go. Once you bleed it, here are your new SSBC brakes. And we already bled everything. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the wheels on and then go for a drive, make sure everything's good and to bed in the, the pads. And that's how you upgrade to a big brake kit for these round 2500s. Hopefully this video helps you. Y'all have a good one.